Let me take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Red Location Museum, in partnership with the International Library of African Music, of which Rhodes University is extensively involved. This is a project about the heritage of music, of music, of music, of music. The Eastern Cape is known for its rich political history. From the likes of Bantu Stephen Biko, who was a prominent voice amongst the South African youth of the time, to the more recently deceased, but equally as influential, Winnie Matikizela Mandela and Nelson Mandela. However, this province is much more than a hotbed for political powerhouses. Unbeknownst to many, the Eastern Cape also has a rich jazz history. There are many articles written on the great history of jazz within the small towns of Queenstown, King Williamstown and Grahamstown. Collectively, these towns are known as the Little Jazz Towns. Some of South Africa's most prominent jazz musicians come from these Little Jazz Towns. They add to its distinct sound of raw emotion and personal expression. To uncover this history further, Tobeka September, a PhD candidate at Rhodes University, furthers her research of these little jazz towns in partnership with the International Library of African Music. I come along to Tobeka, Nlebe, September. I come along to Ligualanga, a Cape Town. My earliest memories of music, wow. Utadam um, used to play you know, the piano every day, a kaya. He's, he basically was a musician, a pianist. And um, low influence, yeah, okay. Yeah, and then, you know, I used to say every day, you know, I want to play like you. The research that I'm currently conducting, yes, the ILM, um, it is about the little jazz towns of the Eastern Cape where we are currently focusing on Queenstown as well as King Williamstown. which I'm currently working on, um, is to interview the musicians about, you know, the influence that jazz had in these little towns. I colleague the research about corner. I am a PE where a similar kind of research was conducted. The project started in uh, PE, uh, the red location area in New Brighton. And then uh, from there, the, we then moved into other towns. We started also focusing on the little jazz town, which is uh, um, Komani. And then we moved to to King Williams Town. What makes the little jazz town special, um, in my opinion, is that um, they are the places where um, most known musicians came out of. You know, we know South African jazz today because of those musicians who came from those little towns. It is important for ILM to keep these recordings in our archives. One, because we are an archive, and one of our, the, 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 the jobs or what we should be doing is archiving uh, uh, music in, of South Africa or Southern Africa. This uh, band, it's, it's a band that was sort of formed for the concert. They called it the core band. Um, which really they just meant it was the main band of the show. This is a combination of uh, musicians from um, Queenstown, uh, King Williamstown and um, East London. And so like the man who's singing here, Retipule, he's actually born uh, in King Williamstown. Uh, but now he relocated to East London, he stays in East London. And uh, the lead guitarist who's playing there is Lulama Gaulana from East London, who also passed away uh, sometime last year. And 
the bass player is Mlungi Sigegana from Queenstown. More than 60 years ago, Queenstown was South Africa's little jazz city. Almost every black home hosted an instrument or a player or a singer of note. And musical dynasties such as the Machikisa family were being established. We are a long way away from the 1950s and 1960s. And the black homes of today aren't quite as musically inclined. However, the Mlungisi Music Academy founded by Mlungisi Gega is trying its best to keep the spirit of jazz alive by all means. So Mlungisi Music Academy is in 2018. I was a cooperator. When I was a kid, I was a kid. I was a kid. I was a kid. I was a kid. I decided to do the best thing to do in the academy. So that was not especially like in the of course, can have a bad Jazz is an expression of yourself, it's an extension of your country as a, as, a, as a person, but it's something that you have to understand. That's why there's institutions. Once it is in Bambe, you will be able to live on your own kingdom. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I love music. And I love jazz. You understand? Of course, I do listen to different kinds of music, but jazz is my number one. You understand? So, uh, if chance, you just gotta have to learn one thing, which is a scale and then you're done. Now my biggest problem with the music we call today, it sounds the same. Because most of the artists who call you today, they learn the music the very same way. Afa eko mani kwa poko mlungi sini. Tifuna kini linda azika endi buza yini kwa mdingubani na mbosa. I'm not a good pianist but because mna andi chaza kini funde ii staff rotation. Ta ii tonic solfa endi endi kutkwi enda ii funda yini. Name one jazz artist you know. Um, Hugh. Everyone knows Hugh, right? Hugh Masekela. Hugh Masekela. Hugh Masekela. Can you name a prominent jazz artist from the Eastern Cape? No. Yeah. No, I can't. I don't know any. I would be lying to you if I said I knew any. How has jazz impacted your life? Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know a lot about jazz. So I don't think it had a big effect on my life. <laughs> you know? <laughs> to be honest, um, I don't listen to a lot of jazz. Um, I can't really say it has affected my life because I'm going to be honest. I don't listen to jazz, but um, I think that for the older people, it's a good thing because it's like soulful music also for, for them. Yeah. The opinions of the youth made me realize just how unpopular jazz is amongst the youth. Even though Damlu believes that jazz will never die, this does make me realize just how important this research is in preserving the legacy of jazz. However, even with all of this, I wonder whether we could ever make young people appreciate the beauty of jazz. In 1976, Ngolonyaka Kanyewe landed uprisings as a soul to June 16. 
o Steve Biko was a pill and yellow trash. Yaland, a quacky festival, a so wet, or the cream of jazz groups, Zalapi South Africa. Yabonake is all jazz men, club festival. Zazi land, or Zaza Puma, Zang number one, up in South Africa. And to show, to show equality of music that was played by that group. It just was influential in such a manner that because it was a hand one band. So it hand especially so Lulucha. And Gengoku, Lulucha were the ones who went to shows. And also the Mamela Lumtulu. And Mkulo Jazz had a message yeah, for the youth. As a result, it revived, it added to revive consciousness. Yeah, yeah, it's clear that King Williamstown boasts a great symbol to keep the legacy of apartheid hero Steve Biko alive. However, King Williamstown also boasts a plethora of jazz fans who have listened to jazz for over decades. Their strong sense of self is intertwined with the powerful messages spoken by Steve Buko in their youth and the jazz music they listened to at the time. In moments, I was talking about the Slow Food King Brothers. I was a graduation. I was a kid, and I was a kid. I was a kid, and 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 I was a kid. Why it was very, very amazing. Mm. Because because then Yes. And Slow food. My baby last sound, yeah, but original sound, yeah. One if I am sound, most for my own thing, yeah, God. Then in the formation of his sound, yeah, okay. Welcome onto the stage, our first performance, the sound. Four voices, less sound, yeah. But just as if my womb to a scene, so was who fit up. Ganjo, self, my swan and yum to last night. Nagumzulana one. Ukula and Ismo, my sister, to love a pam whack. I was about Lula, we was in game, Miss Gay, as the sound. So, Mzulana, I'm gay, who are corner in Dundi, you can never talk about the sound. Miss Andy, eh? Ekamalam go a corner. Gunguenja. Um, Gui is Sandy. Um, the Akulapa, 
Ola no tatu mkuluwa. Besi siti kasleli as a family. Kla mutata fake one of the activities like. Se is a jazz music. So si mamele. Ufuman si ba si akula song. Spela si akula song ke. Apende niku maandu kuyu londo le. Do fela na na ye ozam kolo. Do fela na na ye ozam kolo. Do fela na na ye ozam kolo. Ito we na zam kolo. Tando zam kolo, do fela na na ye. Di yam tando zam kolo, do fela na na ye. O zam kolo, zam kolo, zam kolo, zam kolo. Zamu kolo iya mtana. Thank you. King William's Down was really emotional for me. There may not be institutions like MMA here to maintain the presence of jazz, but the way in which jazz has made its way to connecting family members and making bonds stronger was really heartwarming. I look at Mr. Nguenja and his granddaughter, and it really takes me back to my father. I can see it in her eyes. It's the same passion and love my father instilled in me. As a researcher, Let Jenny, you know, has humbled me and taught me a lot about our um, jazz musicians who basically, you know, um, put a lot into the craft. And about Lale, not just for South Africans, but throughout the world, when you talk about township jazz music, everyone knows Uguti, you're talking about South Africa. But of course, for young people, I, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced, Uguti, the doors have opened and I hope that they remain that way. What would you say your dad would be most proud of because of the achievements? I think probably keeping up the legacy, I can, you know, um, keeping on playing the piano because I remember when I asked him, you know, to teach me the piano, um, he said to me, Sisi, you must know, Ubuti, I want it to be on your fingertips. I'm so rested. Eh, baby, what you love to do, sweetie? Come on, 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 come on,